And we're live. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Lord have mercy. Hello, sweetie pie. Hi. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it is D and Willie Jolly. Hello. Hello. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Happily Married Monday, or Mondays, with the Jollies. And we are excited about another Monday night to be able to share with you some tidbits, ideas, strategies, and thoughts on helping you have a happily lived marriage, taken primarily from my book, Make Love, Make Money, Make It Last, 10 Secrets to Shape a Great Marriage. And we are grateful that we have a marriage. We've been married for going on 34 years and haven't had an argument in 30 years. And well, it would be 31 now, Willie. Well, I just rounded around. You're mm -hmm. right. I haven't had an argument over 31 years. And... Um, we learned some principles after the first couple of years, which were very argumentative. Well, they were challenging. How and challenging. And learned some principles. Do you want to say why they were challenging? Because we had to learn how to communicate. Yes. How to talk sweetly to each other. Yes. How to be able to talk about our challenges. Yes. And the fact that we also had a blended family and that added a whole nother set of issues. Yes. And we had to figure out how to handle the money. <clears throat> we had to figure out how. And he was an entrepreneur, and initially I had a, pay a regular paycheck. Right. That's really challenging, too. So all of the above was part of our journey, and we met, we got some mentors. M mentors, happily married people who we asked for mentorship. And they gave us good counsel. And we took what they said and we applied it to our marriage. Things changed. And then 30 years go by and our son at our 30th wedding anniversary had a party where he brought a bunch of his friends in to say, we want to know how y'all work together, live together, you're together all the time. And you don't argue. He's not seen us argue. He's never seen us argue. And... Um, we gave them our principles, our 10 steps, and he let us know the next day that so many of them were hitting him up on social media, texting him saying, that was phenomenal last night, which your parents shared with us. Do they have a book? Can they get a book? We need a book. And he kept pushing us and prodding us. We had other things on our plate. I had, a, I had my speaking business. So as a result. That's what we came up with. Took us a couple years to do it, but make love, make money, make it last. Go to jollymarriage.com to get a free chapter, not a free book, a free chapter from the book. You can get the book um, at jollymarriage.com. And, and it's on back order. Actually. And it's actually on back order, but we are, people are buying this book. But we'll have some soon. Okay, and we'll send them to you. Now, tonight. one more thing, one more thing before we go. Uh, February... The 16th? 16th, we're doing a special marriage tune-up for our church, First Baptist Church of Glen Arden, Maryland. Uh, Friday night will be a concert and dance and dinner and dance and concert featuring Lettucey. That's right, Lettucey, the Grammy-nominated artist well-known around the world, will be performing Friday night. Saturday morning, Dee and I will be leading a marriage tune-up on how to keep it going, how to keep it fresh, how to Specific grow Specific strategies yeah. so on how to do that. Go to fbcglenarden.org backslash love notes. All right? F-B-C-G, no, fbcglenarden.org backslash love notes. Register immediately because it's going to sell out 
The rooms are going. The rooms are almost gone at the Marriott in Baltimore, the uh, Riverside, Harborside. In a Marriott, harbor. In a harbor. harbor. And, but go right now. Do it now. Don't hesitate. Do it. You're going to love it. And we're going to have a great time. Okay, now. All right. The topic this evening is steps to set effective goals as a couple. Okay. So January, we are, is, it's goal setting time. People normally talk about resolutions, but we know resolutions have don't no work, power. Don't work. They don't yeah. work. By now, so most of y'all have forgotten your resolutions in the first place. So if, you, if, if, if it's not specific, it's not measurable, you haven't written it down, it probably won't happen. Right. So January is, is goal setting time, or it is going back and looking at what your goals are were if you actually wrote them before and saying what kind of progress did I make what do I need to adjust or maybe it's I've never set goals before and I'm going to do it this time right right and so in the past years and you were talking over what 20 some years ago you started a program called monster vision right goal setting that you actually had on Capitol Hill right and and, and out of that we really learned... that's how you're cute tonight thank you dear Thank oh, you. Excuse me. And we really learned how to set goals and to actually measure the progress that we were making. Yes. So we decided to take the concept of individual goal setting and to say, well, you can have individual goals, but you're a couple. So shouldn't you also have couples goals? And we actually do that. Right. So we have our individual goals. We have our, our, our individual goals between each other. Each of us, and then we have our couples' goals as as a couple, you know. And we decided that we need to talk about that because some said, "Well, how do you set goals as a couple?" Right. How many of you got some goals and dreams you want to achieve in your life? Okay. And how many got some some ideas that you'd like to manifest and make happen this year? And how many of you would like your marriage to be popping, cranking, cooking, just blowing up? Then we want to help you do that. Now, let's talk about goals for a moment. We had our goal setting seminar on Saturday. Tremendous experience for me because it reminded me of that experience 20 years ago with the monster goals and the people whose lives were changed. We were at an event. We did the event on Saturday, the goal setting Saturday night. We went to a friend's 61st birthday and the conversation was brought up of where this friend who was celebrating her 65th yes. birthday met her business partner and they met at our goal setting seminar. They, Amazing. They did. They had not that. seen each other in years. They had gone to the same college, but didn't really know each other. They reconnected, met at my goal setting seminar over 20 years ago, over 20 years ago. And now they have a very successful women's network. I'll give them a shout out. In fact, sisters for sisters network incorporated with Peggy Morris and Sharon Bullock and uh, the whole ladies uh, in Prince George's County. Uh, Maryland. So they talked about how that goal setting seminar changed their lives. Helped them to get focused on what they really want. And now they're doing very well, as well as others who have gone to write books, to start businesses. So it works for you as a individual and it can work for you as a couple. So we want to go back to yeah. how to set effective goals as a couple. Okay. So you can't set effective goals as a couple if you don't even know where you are. Right. Okay. So the goal is to motivate and support each other. Couples, how do you motivate and support each other to achieve your dreams? And, and goals? you know what happens often is you get one person who might be the visionary or the big dreamer. And then you got another person. Outrageous dreamer, I might add. And another person who is the behind the scenes organizer, putting all the pieces and parts together. And we've often said, I'm the tree shaker, she's the jelly maker. Okay, now, that said, that's great. But here's what I realized, that she supported me on my dream, but I want to support her on her dreams as well. And so, how can I support her if I don't know what they are? Okay, mm -hmm. how can you support your spouse, your partner in life, if you don't know their dreams and goals because they've been so hard, working so hard supporting your dreams and goals, or you've never talked about it. Or uh, you're on two... Two roads, you might two two parallel roads that that then go in different directions. Right. So if you don't talk about your dreams, number one, talk about your dreams, and and just share where you think you want to go and what you want to do, and you might be surprised that there's some intersection. Yeah, and the power of setting goals and create some point real quick. 
this house. Now, we've been in this house for a number of years. And when we bought this house... 31. Well, whatever. We, 31. Oh, yeah. When we bought this house, we set a goal to, that I told her that if she would live in my mama's attic for a year... For a year. I promised her we would get a home. And then we set a goal to get a house. And we worked together. We saved our money, had some down payment. And then the first house we tried to get fell through. And I was very crushed. I was, I was really down. But my wife said, it's okay. We're going to get another one. And it's going to be better, bigger. And she was right. I'm so thankful that it fell through. Yes, we are both thankful <laughs> that it fell through. In retrospect, <laughs> praise God, because it was nowhere near the character of this house. And we've always loved this house from the first moment we saw it. Now, we set a goal once we had a goal to, to get a house. Then we saw this house. I saw them putting the stick in the ground to put the sign up. I called D, and she said, let me go look at uh, how to get it. This for the internet. And she started calling. And by the time we had called, there was always already an offer on the house. Wasn't there something like that? But whatever there was, we... There was interest. Interest. And, and I think the real estate agent was new at it. So he really wasn't quite sure what he okay, was Okay, whatever. Doing. Anyway, okay. we mm -hmm. worked together mm -hmm. to to orchestrate the work to make this happen and we got so the we house. So we had to find out what would it take to get the house, how we needed to look because Willie was paid in cash. Right. That's a whole nother story. That's a whole nother, but we worked together to we do it. We worked together. We worked together and we made it happen and we've loved this home and there have been times when we thought we were going to move because we had a little more money. We made a little money and had some success. We were going to move out in the suburbs. But we love this house so much for the character and the fact that it was so wonderfully suited and, and situated. And right in D.C. Right so in the city. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's, it's separate from all the other homes. It's different. Anyway, because we worked together, had a goal. So... We have to get on the same page. Yeah. So talk about your goals, your dreams, your, and your fears. Fears are part of what keeps us from achieving our goals. And if I don't know what, or, or so her heart, her anxieties, how can I lessen them by saying, okay, I got to make sure I address them. And um, what do you want to do individually as and as a couple? And how do you overcome the challenges and the fears and anxieties? We talk about those things as a couple. Again, goes back to communication. All right. You see, we talk about it, but with the goal setting, what we actually did was to write down what are our dreams. What are our dreams? Okay. Yeah, we talked about year? the fears, but I'm talking about we, we, we yes. definitely talked about our right. goals. We wrote down our goals and dreams. Mm -hmm. And we did that well, you as actually, you, But this time, you actually wrote it while we were traveling. Yep. And I said, let's talk about it. Yeah. And we wrote them down while she was driving. Mm -hmm. I had driven. So you say you don't. So every year we're doing this. Yes. We do this every year. And start talking about what we want to achieve uh, individually. Then what are, we want to achieve as a couple. Mm -hmm. So what are our common dreams? We yep. talked about that. Yes. Like so, you don't want to be here in the wintertime no. next year. So I said, okay, I, I, I can agree to that. I like, I like warm weather. Me too. And my body starts to like it too. <laughs> so, so so we have common dreams. Yep. And then we have dreams that are different. Yep. But then we look at where we can support each other even with the difference in the dreams. Yes. Yes. So, dream together, uh work together. Okay. And then share with each other. Go back. I'll go pull that up again. Mm -hmm. Share with each other. Do you have common dreams? Uh your common couple's vision? Uh, and create a vision board. Uh, we, we believe in the power of pictures that will be in your mind that will help you to get what you want to achieve, accomplish. And Maybe it's the beach house. Maybe it's the beach house. We did that. And we set a goal and we did it. And praise the Lord. Um, whether what kind of car you want. Being able to pay your kids tuition. Maybe that's it. Maybe it's buying your parents a home or buying your parents a sending them on vacation, whatever it is. Now, uh, all right. So we've got you got to talk about it. Mm -hmm. Develop a vision board, and then go back to your individual dreams. Yeah, and and discuss what you really want to do. Okay, so let's get this going for y'all. Uh, we want y'all to do this. So. Want you and your 
significant other, your spouse, your partner, the love of your life, your cream and your coffee, whatever you want to call it. I want you all to sit down in the next 24 hours with, with take an hour, just say, okay, let's talk about it. Let's talk about goals and dreams. Now, what our exercise is to get to goals and to dreams is if you only had a year to live, what would you want to achieve? Now, that just gets you to dream big. And it's very difficult. We, did, we learned from the exercise the other day. But once you, you get to dreaming about what you could achieve if you couldn't fail, then let's, let's start to really now say, okay, now in the next year of all that that we dreamt about for, for a lifetime, what is it we want to achieve by the end of this year? What are some of the things we want? And we, we were, they was quite telling some of the things you shared with me that you wanted to accomplish by the end of this year. So we know what we've, if we wanted to get that, what kind of money we got to generate, uh, what we want to do philanthropically, or what we want to do to be a blessing to others. I think one of the things that, that uh, I wrote that we people don't normally discuss is an unpleasant conversation, but needs to factor in. I don't want to get to that yet. Because that's, I still want to get because <laughs> that's Because we're still talking about the goals and dreams. Like, we do have to talk about those. But others. this will affect it. So go ahead and finish. So I want you to imagine the two of you um, sitting on a beach somewhere or something saying, what do we want to do this year? What And start thinking about, well, if we, we could accomplish some things, what would it look like? Well, I like to... One of the things she wanted to do was some things... Uh, 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 Ten years ago, we renovated our home. We moved out for six months and really loved the new additions. We built an addition to the house. But now we're at a point where we maybe want to do even more. We want some new things. So we had, I said, what does it look like? Describe it. The more we can get clarity in our mind, the more we and can And I design. have pictures cut out of what, where I want uh, bookcases. Right. Built in the wall. Right. Okay. So these are things that we and discuss. chair reel molding. Mm. Okay. So actually have pictures and the light cut out. Okay. For what I want to do. Right. So write it down though. A vision written, when you think it, ink it. Without a, it written, it's just a wish. And so write it down and make sure you talk about it with each other. Now, go ahead. Visualize, cut out pictures, and write down what you think. You In need. order to realize, you must visualize. Okay. Like in order to realize, you, you must, must visualize. visualize. And one you more point. You must see it in your mind. So you must visualize. Before it becomes a reality. Then you must actualize to make it realize. You must take action. Actualize so, means to take, okay. All right. So realize, visualize. Okay. That would be great. You that have to see great. it in your mind. All right. How many vacations you want to take this year? Okay. What do are, what are your vacations look like? What do you want to do to get away? What do you want to do to... Uh, be a blessing to somebody else. Okay, anyway, go ahead. Okay. Can now we... you can go to the thing you want. All to right. Talk. So so now you've got the vision of what it is you want to do for the, for the year. So you've yeah. narrowed it down to the year. And we've talked about that, how many vacations we want to take. At least this is the number of vacations we want to take. This is how much money we each need to earn this year. We need to have okay, more, now, money. more yes. money, more money, more now money, more money, more to, money. Before we get to the specific actions that it will take to actually achieve those goals. We talked about something that's rather unpleasant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to talk about it. And we have to talk about it. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Worst case scenarios. Yeah. And we have friends who, who are actually going through worst case scenarios. Mm -hmm. Friends who are involved with, with the, the shutdown. Yep, the government shut down. Who who was struggling with that? Who mm -hmm. had to deal with that? Mm -hmm. We have who might not. Okay, so... Mm -hmm. I have enough money. I'm anticipating getting my money every two weeks or once a month, and I will pay the mortgage. What if there is no money? Right. How do you prepare in advance for something that might happen? And and we discussed the fact that as entrepreneurs, it's a little bit easier for us to have a mindset of, okay, I can create something because we don't get a regular paycheck. Right, right. And that was very hard for me to deal with when... I came to work with him. That, that was difficult for her. I was used to it. I understood that you had to create it if you wanted to so, enjoy it. Preparing for worst case scenario, you need to talk about that. Yep. The other thing, in terms of illness, yep. in sickness and in health. In sickness so and in health. sickness, what if, one, if a spouse is ill for a long period of time or can no longer work? 
how will you prepare? We're going to have a special show about, about that, about by the way, uh, in February. In February. February is Love and Romance Month. Love and Romance. Keeping it going. Yeah. Valentine's. But we're going to do a special show about um, sickness and health. In sickness and in health. Yeah. Okay. All okay. right. So it's important that you, you brainstorm and come up with some plans. Think what does about, that look like? And think about one other thing. Do you talk about the finances, the, the insurances? Let me say... Oh, that's a whole... Uh, 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 and I guess I'm speaking to the men because we've seen men don't go to doctors sometimes and won't get their checkups. So we want you to go to the doctor, get your checkups, but we also want you to make sure, men and women, that you have health insurance and life insurance. And long-term care. And long-term care. And when care. you reach a certain age, when you reach 50, that's when long... It's, they say that's about the age you get your long-term care That's when care we insurance. love your family. You love your wife. or you, If, you, if the, the wife is the uh, majority income earner, she, the, the, whoever has the majority income needs to make sure they have it life insurance and then both parties need to have it if they both are involved in it well they however they, they're both supporting and building the household you both need to have insurance you have any insurance and particularly if you got little children mm -hmm. particularly if you got children mm -hmm. that you and need then that, that's a whole nother in terms of the kind of insurances right and then i have a basic issue with term only she is an insurance expert. <laughs> Let's not go there. Let's, Let's not, not go there. Cause we'll go. She'll go down that How rabbit do you hole. Build your, she'll go no, down that we, hole. We learned the hard way. About, let, let's just let's just keep. No, no, we didn't learn the hard way. We learned because you kept going after and going I after. Know. I going had to keep trying to learn, trying to get get information. Thank God. Uh, thank God we've been able to do that without having to learn the hard way. So you got to review. So if you're thinking worst case scenarios, you really need to talk about that. And it's a difficult conversation. Yeah, yeah. Um, and emergency and contingency plans. Do you have extra money? And in, in not everything in stocks and bonds, but where is the, the ongoing safety money, emergency money yeah. for, for mortgages for a couple of months in your life? You know, where is that money? Where is and the money? And have you talked about that? Have y'all talked about it? Yes. You know, we were with a couple... And the wife shared with us that the husband paid all the bills. She knew none of the bills. She knew none of the, the, the commitments, the financial commitment, nothing. She knew nothing. And we've heard horror stories where one of the spouses dies or is incapacitated and the other one knows nothing, is like hit by, by a Mack truck because they, they, they didn't know anything about how to continue to operate the home, where the monies were, where the insurance was were, where the bills were. So, you know, every now and then, D takes care of a lot of the bills. Uh, I just give her money. But I also had to say, oh, let's stop. I need to know where every bill is. And we do that at the end of the year. We did that in December. Mm -hmm. What are every single mm -hmm. solitary bill? But every couple of days. Well, really, because we're in business and Mary. The whole financial aspects are discussed all the time. Yeah, but I got to know. He's talking about there's so much detail that's right. involved right. with the business. The household is really pretty simple. Pretty easy. Compared every, yes. with everything related to the business. Right, that's correct. That's right. Um, now, goals, mm -hmm. setting goals, your vision together, your common goals, your individual goals. And where do they come, the common uh, the individual goals crisscross or intersect mm -hmm. to have some common goals? Mm -hmm. And then what happens if y'all have goals that are competing or uh, are not complementary? So then you have to talk about that. That's where you got to talk about it and have some conversation. I.e., let's say I told her I want to I want to get in a warm place next winter. Well, let's say she said I don't want to go there. Or she said, I want to go to Arizona. I said, well, I don't want to go that far. We would look at we do. But we actually looked at Arizona. Yeah, we looked there one time, but we so realized we our get, family right. was over here. So we started going south. So it's okay to explore, yes. which is what we did. Yes. We weren't sure. We said we liked Arizona. It's actually carefree. Carefree. We looked into carefree. We looked at a place in carefree. Mm -hmm. And then we realized together, because we, we had investigated that, it's too far away because all of our family have Kids to over here, here grandkids mm -hmm. over here, mm -hmm. uh, siblings, nieces and nephews. Okay, let's go with another plan here. Mm -hmm. All right, because, uh, well, you know, those are conversations, though. That's because we sat and talked about it. We looked, we thought, we talked, back and forth. Or one time I thought about California. That ain't working. 
working for D. <laughs> that ain't gonna work for D. No. But we look too. Yeah, I mean, we, we travel a lot anyway because yeah. of business. So. Yeah, yeah. But that didn't work. So let's yeah. get back on target. Right. So we so talked you, about you, it. You you your, your dreams. You, yeah. you share your dreams and you encourage each other to to dream outrageous. Dreams. And I want to say and this because it's on my spirit. Oh. When DJ said that, you encourage each other. I would did a, I did a TV interview today, and a lady said something you weren't you you didn't know. She said your wife supported you when you quit your job and said you were gonna become a speaker. I said my wife has supported me every step of the way since I started this journey. Now that didn't mean I didn't have sleepless nights. <laughs> Let's not go there either. <laughs> but she supported me. In other words, encourage your. Mm -hmm. mate mm -hmm. look everybody needs encouragement yes. everybody needs encouragement and sometimes they've got some crazy dreams and crazy goals they want to achieve but talk about it and encourage them rather than discourage them i would say look at it in terms of you're in the boat together yep and if you're in the boat together and if i'm in that boat with you you're not going to fail right just by sheer oh you know the old story and uh, determination the the that the, uh, the we used to hear uh Bill Clinton talk about you know he was riding with Hillary and they were they went to buy a um place where in her gas station, gas station her town and, and they she she went in to pay for the gas she said oh Bill come on in I want you to meet one of my former boyfriends went in and he was the the guy who was uh, fixing the cars. And gas station gas attendant. Gas station attendant. And he, he uh, took the money and paid for the gas. So good to see you, Hillary. And they got in the car. And Hillary said, and Bill feeling kind of, <laughs> hey, think about if you had married him, where you would be. She said, he'd been president of the United States. <laughs> <laughs> Our pastor uses that that joke sometimes, but so many have said it. But it's the it's the woman with the man who made it possible. I would not be the speaker, the author, the radio personality, any of that without her support, her encouragement, her helping me think through what I'm trying to achieve. Let's talk about it. She would talk about it. She said. Let's talk about that. Is that the best way to achieve that goal? Hmm. And she'll give me some ideas. I say, that's, you know, thank you. I needed that. So anyway, our time is almost up. We got two more minutes. Uh, before we get, go, we, got, we can't get to everything. So I know we got more to do. Then you uh, have to, wait, we can quickly say, so once you, you know where you want to go as a couple, and then you have the individual goals, you prioritize and what, in terms of what's most important. So it's right. that ongoing conversation, communi communication and, and conversation, and then you have to smart your goals. Actually, what we will start doing with our, our Facebook Live is to turn them into blogs. That's one of the things we are working, working on. That we're working on right, that. Yes, right, yeah, we're, we're working. We got a lot on our plate, and she up. then she starts with. But what we want you to do is this: send this to your friends, tweet this, uh, post it to help others. Tell them Monday nights. We're going to start doing Facebook ads as well to let people know we want more and more people. We want thousands and thousands and thousands of people to be with us on Monday nights at 9 o'clock. We're going to even create some new programming. We've got a lot of ideas, so give us your thoughts. Give us your ideas. Tell us how you like it. Tell us what you need more of. Tell us your questions and some of the things that concern. What would you like to yes. see here? Okay. Now, information. again. Make love, make money, make it last. Jollymarriage.com for those who are newbies. Go get and pre-order the book on Jollymarriage.com. It is being in back order right now because they have gone so quickly. But there will be some coming in soon and you can get a copy. Just pre-order it and, or back order it and we'll get it to you soon. An FBCG then. program now, where we're going to be? We're going to be at the Baltimore Harborside on February 16th. And we're going to be there on the 15th and 16th because the 15th Lettucey is performing. And then the 16th, we are, we are the um, speakers for the marriage tune-up. They're expecting um, a, a number of hum hundreds of couples, hundreds of peep couples are going to be there. We want you to get one of the seats. So go to F, B as in boy, C as in Charlie, Glenn Arden, G L E N A R D E N dot org backslash love notes. 
register, go to the hotel, get your room. We're going to have a great time Friday night, Saturday morning. It's going to be dynamite. I can't wait to see you there. And then we're preparing for when we're going to start having our events. Yes, You're sir. cute, by the way. Thank you. All right. So our time is up. Yep. yep. Our time is up. Jolly out. Jolly out. God bless you. See ya.